Hello, I'm Mr. Connor, and here's our first adventure together in our class for 2021. Here we are going to be talking about a little memorization, your first assignment, which I'm giving to you. It's up here on the wall, so I'm going to read it to you off my chalkboard. In a world where absolute truth exists but cannot be known, one must live by reason and faith. And then a bit vaingloriously, I put the name of the author up here because it's me. I'm pretty proud of this. Sorry, my hubris, I hope, won't get me. But I hope you'll take some time to read about this over and then think about it. Let's go through together and talk about some of the words and then try to bring them together in an understanding that we can move forward with. First of all, let's talk about being in the world. Okay, some of us think of the world, we think of this little speck of dust going around the sun in our little solar system, which is in itself a speck of dust going around in the Milky Way galaxy, which is in itself is a little speck of dust in our universe, which may well be a little speck of dust in the world, because the world is all universes, and not just physical ones that we can touch and see and bring in with our senses, but in universes we can imagine, and universes we can talk about, universes we feel, in powerful, worldly, enormous things like love and hate and anger and all these things. All these things are in the world. They are the world. And in a world such as that, absolute truth does exist. Absolute means no matter what you believe, no matter what you think, no matter what you're willing to do for it or how much you're willing to pay for it, it's true or not true. It's absolutely true, but it's always true if it's absolute. It's never not true. The problem is we don't know if something is absolutely true or not. We don't have any way of proving that. We're just little tiny specks on a tiny speck. How can we think of these things with our little brains? Well, one way that we can find our way towards them is through reason. Reason is a very powerful tool. Some people argue that reason is what makes us different from all other animals, that we're able to tell right from wrong. I read a book once where this guy ate an apple and suffered death just so that he could get the power to tell the right from the wrong, the ability to reason, to see the truth. But even he could not be absolutely sure nor can we ever be absolutely sure that what we see as right or wrong is right or wrong. Therefore, we must live our lives. Don't we have to go on living? And so we live our lives by faith. Faith is how we act. I don't know that in a few minutes I can walk out that door safely down to my car and head home for the day. Maybe as I walk out that door, I'll drop into a giant pit and be falling through a hole in time for eternity. I don't know. But I don't think that's reasonable, and so I have faith that I can walk out through that door and go into it. Reason tells us that, for example, Mr. Connor is holding a pencil. My senses tell me I'm seeing it, but of course by the time you're watching this, Mr. Connor is completely somewhere else and he's not holding a pencil. And maybe this pencil is just generated by computer magic, however they do that, and it's not really here. So you have to admit that an absolute truth does exist. Let me give you one that your reason might be very hard to beat on. Mr. Connor is either holding this pencil or he is not. Wow, that statement seems to be pretty absolute and we can take pretty good confidence that it's true. But remember, our reason is what guides us through life. We look at all the alternatives, we listen to all points of view, and then we search into our soul to find what is reasonable and what is true. That's how we figured out that it wasn't reasonable for one man to rule an entire country or one tiny island to rule a continent. We'll talk about these things as we study world history and American history and even Greek and ancient Roman history history. It's going to be really a great deal of fun as we talk about all these things. But we have a great power, which is reason, the power to tell right from wrong, the power that makes us human. But even that can be tricked. 
Our reason can be tricked. People make mistakes all the time. That's why we have so much confusion and difficulty in the world. But we have to live. We have to move on. And so we live by faith. So when it comes time for me to go home, I'm going to pack up my gear and head out the door. I'm sending this video out for you to watch. It's reasonable that you will watch it because it's an assignment. And I have faith that you'll take the time to learn the sentence. And I'm going to test you on it just to make sure you really did. But you're already thinking of how I'm going to cheat on that one. But I have faith that you won't, that you'll actually learn it, and that we can move on together. So that's how we live in this world. Knowing that there's an absolute truth out there. Knowing that we can never know it for sure, but also knowing that we have the power of reason, or at least we believe we have the power of reason. We're able to identify right and wrong, truth, ah, beauty, many great things come to us. And of course, there are always those people who are trying to confuse us. And then we act in faith. And as we act in faith, we have to be open to change. If we are given better explanations, better ideas, and our reason says, oh, I was wrong. It really doesn't do any good to protect us by burning witches to keep them from cursing our children for getting smallpox. We have to come up with a vaccine. Maybe that's the way to live our lives, to move forward in faith. We'll get to study all these things as we move through the study of history, whether it's ancient Greek and Roman world or American government and um, civics as we study those things, whether we're together in Latinos in Action or any of the other great activities that we do, we're going to be looking for the truth and we're going to want to live our life by reason and faith. So let me read it to you one more time and then we'll send you out to get it memorized and ready to pass it off in a little quick quiz at the beginning of class the time we meet, which will be our second meeting time together for the, um, oh, it's too confusing, I can't get into it. But if you come to school on Tuesday, it'll be due on Thursday. And if you don't come to school till Friday, it will be due on Monday. How does that sound to you for an explanation? Okay, here we go. Sounds reasonable. In a world where absolute truth exists, but cannot be known, one must live by reason and faith. Thank you very much. Goodbye.